some before. And I felt that, okay, there's really some opportunities, <laughs> you know, even for dynamic energy budget to, to try to really uh, get some funding and move forward. This is basically one of my key learning. Yeah. Um, and then the, the what you know the little I've seen from Imaginarium, you know, I, I felt that you were continuing to explore, and that for me it's super connected uh, anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely, we kind of like got our kind of flow down a little bit with me and um, within the vacuum on doing those little mandalas. And then I've been using this like weird thing that my friend gave me that does like the spears and makes like the mandala shapes. Anyways, but we're we're working on the, the curation and then like um I think we do the curation for dynamic energy budgets. I mean I'm referring to the library and see about like getting funding for like those flows of research and curation for the library, meaning that you know we put in the books that we read for in, in group and we, we write up like that. What do you mean by the books? You mean for uh, the library? Yeah, the dynamic uh, energy, the ones that we read. Uh, it's, it's, okay. Uh, the philosopher, the French philosopher, and then. Uh, it's but I, no, yeah. so you mean the. So to put our, the dynamic energy budget references yeah. within the Consilience Library, is yeah. what you mean? And yeah, then, I think there's more than two books. That, yeah, uh, you know. there's like there's a bunch that we have like in there, and actually, recently too, um, we'll get together. Uh, Daniel um, has been in in our. Um, it's called the Imagine Station. I'll, I'll, I'll invite you into that one. Um, we're we're been talking about the Mandala narrative, but he's been giving us a lot of good um, recent like scientific uh, articles that we should like put as part of like the Deb library references, you know, and start. start. This is super cool. And what, what is this? Uh, in the what, what is this? <clears throat> yeah, in the Imaginarium th thread, further up, I talked about the Imagination Station or something like that, and there's an invite. But yeah, uh, Daniel's been okay. in, in there and he, there was some good articles that he recommended that would be like great for under like the Deb. Yeah curation is the imagination station is like a kind of event that you organize or oh no it's just a, a it's a discord group where we were where we're talking about mainly the like mandala narrative basically like the images but like my friend he does this other stuff but it's just we're just talking about like um how we could use this the the mandalas in this like um Actually, Daniel was the one who, who recommended that. He said, oh, this sounds like you guys are talking about the beat game. And the beat game is like this, it's in a sci-fi book. And it's like these broad, there's like, I forgot how many topics, like 26 topics. And then they're represented by a bead. And like, uh, it's a, so you play the topic. So like, in this case, like one, one of the jewels will be dynamic energy. And so like, that dynamic energy uh, thing like will hold all the references of what we've been doing in dynamic energy budget. Uh, like, oh, actually, um, yeah, I understand a little bit. Yeah, the first symbol I used was the dynamic energy budget thing. But anyways, that's how I've been thinking about the the curation, and and then the, yeah, there's a template. Yeah. Anyways, we should do that for dynamic energy budget. Actually, it's all yeah, like, so, it's all in the notion, isn't it? Uh, you you mean the references for dynamic energy budget? Yeah, uh, yeah, like oh, yeah. yes, and there's some more. There's some more. This is what I want to say: yeah. that the more I'm digging into it, and the more I find some, yeah. you know, twentieth uh, century philosopher uh, references yeah. to metabolism as an economic organization. Uh -huh. So so um, so that's. Why? And, you, you know, so I also met, um, you know, two minutes. Uh, <laughs> how do I call you now? <laughs> so I also, met in Paris. I also met in Paris, but two minutes. 
Mert? I saw that picture. Sorry? The picture lost. In, in, in group? Oh, yeah. no, I meant uh, uh, Stream Merod, it's his name. Oh, yeah? Um, hey, what's up, Streamer? Yeah, I'm meeting in Paris. Good. So. Feeling your energy. <laughs> it's awesome in here again. How are you doing? I've been uh, wondering maybe also um, make some a uh, first time ever in my life <laughs> kind of about demo and maybe half facilitation we mentioned before uh, we discussed like something about um, expressions of peace like I'm a bit yeah into uh, I don't know, like making it better. Since last week, I got some revelation, like a quick um, way of doing it, quick in a way that it's more elegant or really um, matching to core principles of blockchain. I mean, not only values, not the values in this case, but tech part of it, like and how it aligns with such a ceiling of a world peace and I think I want more wisdom or whether we're gonna uh, make it work I wanna do it and your opinion so much matter yeah it's yeah. soft like it will be so do you wanna like uh, share your screen to basically uh, tell, tell or does G know what, what you're doing but anyways tell, tell what yeah. you're doing um Oh. Yeah. I Let think. I... So okay, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Streamer D is is, is uh, has this um, app, right? You're doing with. Um... Yeah, like. Uh, yeah, I don't um, understand. Yeah, that's that's better to um, yeah, sure. maybe visually yeah. share it. I think you can. So it's an app that you developed, yes? This is what you mean? I made it. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't think you should. Sharing share. its link on my profile. Maybe you can access on GitHub. There is this um, link to DAP. And um, it's for basically for world peace. Um, this is the intro, like, hey, just. Uh, wrote it yesterday, but um. Oh, did you share your screen? Expressing... I don't see. You don't share. Your oh, do you, you don't see the screen? No, I don't. No. No, I don't see it. <laughs> I know okay, what you're wait a second. Yeah. This is so cool. Okay, no, so sorry. Wait, wait, is it on Omega that you you shared it? Um... On my profile. Um, like Discord uh, user. So, so I was. So what I'm trying to figure out. This is uh -huh. what, what I think. Your exploration is so amazing, and, and um, so maybe when I, I I'm reading now, I try to figure out how I can you know like come back without having to go through. Yeah. Hundred uh, messages. I mean, which I, I've done it. It's okay, but but um, so for example, when you started to explain with the spores, yeah, it's like I I'd love that you know maybe we, maybe now or another time we can have a kind of session to yeah kind of explain you know like it. In, in yeah. interaction compared to yeah how, because to me it's like that your exploration is like. My understanding, you know, for Deb or for anything, and it's okay, it can be both for whatever you think in Imaginarium and for Deb, and uh -huh, it can yeah. be, you know, mythical application. But uh, to me, it's like, okay, so this is like an avenue of research because, like, you really went through the creativity to explore the issues yeah. and uh, and then to help visualize and uh, and to show how the visualization is helping understanding where we want to go, you know? Uh -huh. So uh, I think it's super cool. Yeah, hopefully uh, we could get um, within the vacuum in uh, dynamic energy budget, and then we'll we'll go through our curation, and maybe w within the vacuum we'll make it while we're we have the meeting. <laughs> make our make the little mandala. Do you, so, 
Yeah, that would be amazing. But what I want to say, so, uh, uh, so one of the things I, I, I learned from these experiences is that uh -huh. um, there are many people that would might be interested by dynamic energy budget. You know, yeah. that, I mean that uh, we can connect or partner or invite time to time or something like that. Yeah. I'm just uh, uh, and and very happy. Yes, that uh, and, you know, within the vacuum coming, but but. Um, uh, uh, when you say curation, curation you uh -huh. mean books this, or text. This is what you uh, mean, J just for me. Well, references, I, I think they, they could be references to like a lecture, uh, references to even like a movie. Okay. Yeah. So, so then yeah. I can add a few things on the, yeah. on the, um, on this document. Is it on the, still on the, this Zoom board or whatever that I, it's very painful for my computer to use, but yeah, is um, it still there? there, yeah? there there's a um, a curation document. Um, I'll put okay. it. I'll put it in dynamic energy budget, and and this is the one that um, that Soul Sister got from somebody. But it was the first curation. Anyways, okay, it, it's like. Still? Uh, um, Sorry, I interrupted you. Oh, no. It's just like a template. Like, you know, we could use it and, and modify it for our own stuff. Okay, so um, then I can add a few things there. Yeah. But uh, um, still, what I've seen in Lisbon, in this museum, to me, was so close to the kind of things we want to do. Uh -huh. And nobody reacted to it. I, I, I shared it twice. I mean, I've noticed that one or twice there were some kind of artistic or design installation that were very much like a consilience library, mm -hmm. which mean that, so maybe, uh, maybe uh, you didn't see it like, uh, like me, <laughs> mm -hmm. but maybe the consilience library can really be a kind of artistic installation mm -hmm. that can be in all places, you know, like not only in art yeah. places. Yeah. You, you understand? Like it can be like a, a big screen that you can move with your hand yeah. that would make you know this different connection and, and this is exactly what i've seen about ecology uh, in this museum v very very close in terms of uh, not the same spirit but very close in terms of uh, system yeah. so i thought that would be useful to 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 look at it uh, yeah i do i do think um, that's what I'll, how I've been going, like, for, cause that's so, like, in, you know, Imaginarium with the spore mandalas, I kind of have been going, like, okay, really detailed into, like, the access point of, in this matrix, what is this thing, and then, like, making it into this mandala, but then going all the way out to, like, the possibilities of it, but, like, what you're saying, too, is, like, if we have, say, this, what I, what I call in the, the spheres, the sphere mandala, and you have this this reference point to to all sorts of your your ecosystem of of Web three, of of what's going, what different projects, of what media, of what what other resources you could go to, and then like what you're saying, so you have like a presentation to do, and then you kind of like plug in your your mandala, and then you kind of like position your your orb to the to that spot and then you kind of like click it and then it it could oh like it opens up and in the or here it will be kind of could be projected onto screens and then you could have like control of like your board or 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 the video clips or music or whatever um you want to do so that's okay but this is amazing but it has nothing to do with what i just said isn't it or if this is what you understood from what I said. No, but what you were saying about the art installation and like having it so then you, you in, in a space. Because, no, because what happened, but I have pictures. I think I, sh yes, I shared them, yeah. uh, but I can share them again. When you tell me this story, uh, it gives me another idea, of course. <laughs> 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 because me, I just said that I saw an installation with boards and explanation around it that was exactly a kind of consilience library from what I understood mm -hmm. until now, you know, which is different type of connecting from one uh, uh, reference to another. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then you can interact as a person, you know, even with your hand by moving it. But basically, like, um, how do you call it? You know, like a mind map for sure, mm -hmm. but a nice software with a nice uh, user experience. That's also what I'm doing here, by the way. And it helps yeah. to uh, simplify a lot of things, I could say. People um, referring to each other's transaction in same contract even could make a meaning, you know. I have started you first with NFTs, but now... Expression of peace. Oh, yeah. This is a smart contract connected to this one. So, like, when we go that, this one, it's on testnet only. Like, you can read the last one. Like, contract is here. So, like, these are expressions, transactions that uses uh, one function, which is um, setting only one field there, a string field that we uh, get as a input as an expression of peace here uh, you can just view the last one only then when you you know put it there it's there and you're on the chain you know like it's like everybody's words are connected uh, basically um, and it can go to uh, multiple cha chains so easily and it can refer to other transactions in different Chains, you know, it's not important which chain it works or how many chains underlying there. But what matters is a uh, string like that. What people said, the content. So um, I'm hoping um, this might help. And when we refresh it, it still uh, needs this connecting. But yeah, it works. It gets the last one from there. And it, how, how does yeah. it, how is it uh, connected to to peace? Uh, um... The uh, the concept you mean, or like? Um, yes, yes. It starts with uh, people's expressions that will later get um, more like demands as well. Like they will be able to. Uh, arrange its scale you know these are like more definitive stuff uh, it could be something they demand or uh, they want to um, opt out from tax around it and that's the final goal actually um, re regeneration through world peace um, but like disarmament everywhere so is um, it something a bit like uh, the praise system but for peace yeah, it will be also there, like some reward and peace token. But right now it's a technology using blockchain, like simply uh, chaining okay, people. Uh, I missed you. I mean, you, you were interrupted. Uh, yeah, that one uh, incentives also these data going to be uh, these transactions. We will listen with a uh, graph. Uh, we will open there too. So uh, in all that, this? some curations can happen too, like, hey, um, which are, I mean, people will also create that acknowledgement of expressions, uh, acknowledgement of peace, kind of. You can say like, hey, I take this as a, that's what I'm trying to legitimate a bit. Like between the will of individuals and peoples like should matter because when if we would ask like, like a lot of people would say like hey i want peace but it's a bit like oh uh, then are you really that open kind of there are a lot of stuff but it's a very baby steps of first part then um, they will need attestations from like organizations and maybe recognitions from states like direct uh, their citizens what they said or uh, indirectly what their citizens acknowledged so like some transitivity there you've been in two kernel kernel 
Canal community? I think um, I should fly. No, but I remember you invited me and uh, I also need to really um, open this up for more opinions and good values around it. That would be... um. I made this also Creative Commons. That's like... <laughs> um, people should really... Uh, don't take this kind of things uh, in uh, intellectual property context, I guess. That's for world. Yeah. What you were saying. So you can copy and redistribute. Um, remix, transform, build upon. It's any purpose, even commercially. Because I want to create really these industries. I'm Please using... Industries. Yeah, like really focused on. I want really smart people focusing on world peace. Like I see them doing everything. <laughs> it's like a left area for some people, but I think uh, that that could be really an artistic project, and it has a bit of irony in it, of course. But it's beautiful, yes. you know, to have like peace industries and let's build the sector and the blog of peace yeah. industry. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and really, like, I, I, I sometimes the think of it, a, a market really of scarcity for peace, peace and all these things. Uh, and, and yeah, like, it shouldn't be all, for example. By the United Nations. <laughs> yeah, but it shouldn't go expensive, you know, like, peace token, for example, gotta be stable or doing this should be a um, maybe funded or something. It's so little X day and one person if they would use once in their life, that's even a uh... question of if peace is expensive or not. That's an interesting question. You know, probably it's expensive. And also, the other question is, can peace be voted or not? Like, why would you <laughs> give people um, option there? That's why it turned to a bit like petition for me or some myself i really uh, didn't want to create any uh, place where people should say hey it's continuing what status quo doing you know like hey your enemy to this your but more like i'm thinking of maybe getting uh, people's um, country data or something like where they belong even if it's anonymous, just to show like, um, hey, like, currently these countries are <laughs> enemy, but you see like some millions of people just uh, don't really uh, feeling that or it goes really up. Now I got it. That would be amazing to have yeah. like a token for peace and the, uh, more reward. Population that Not are for peace as opposed to their governments. Is yes, it right? if like your, yeah, if your states are uh, more like enemies, you know, exist, then you get more reward because you express the opposite, like, that's like... <laughs> more um, but what I see, like for example, in Israel-Palestine, you know, you have, I, I mean, I've been part of some organizations, you have I mean, it's not in the news, but actually you do have a lot of, I mean, a lot at least really with a lot of people in it, you know, that are working together, building peace together. You have uh, victims of terrorist attack from both sides building peace. And when you listen to them, you know, like making all these people much more aware, you know, uh, um, much more heard by, you know, saying, you know, like there's a tokens be a peace token that, you know, uh, make more visible the work of these people working together. And that's happened in so many yeah. places, you know, like when you have like women, uh, I mean, you, you, in many places when it's at a human level, it, you never, you know, like when it's your neighbor, usually you're not in the anger that you are, that if you are in a demonstration and also, when, you know, when you know human, you know, one human and you another human, Usually they don't hate themselves, whoever they belong, whatever they belong to, you know. That's a, that, I, I love this. I, I mean, first I understood it as an art, a, 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 a cynical artistic project <laughs> developing the industry of peace. There is also that 
part, like peace as a service and stuff, really making a bit like, hey, how something that you cannot make an exit or like it's not like you wanna. I mean, there are a lot of challenges. Like that, if you agree, you know, I don't know, Satori, what you think. That could be, you know, a project of dynamic energy budget. I mean, it can be a project of Omega or so, but this idea of having an art science lab that develops some projects that are both, you know, telling a story artistically, but can also be the outcome of, of a research and then an innovation that is totally yeah. disruptive with the way we think today, uh, you know, the way we think of economics, the way we think of uh, politics, that could be for me, I, I see it super well as a, a project of dynamic energy budget, for example. Thank you very you. much. Um, um, I feel that for Amsatori too, but also um, talking to Daniel, um, like cognitive uh, security and stuff, I think that's uh, good for global mental uh, health and like long longevity of our civilization i mean um since ages it's been all it's not that uh, it didn't uh, want it or people didn't want something but tech was not there i could say like something like this still there's way to go but um using tech for it or saying uh, arts and creativity and science observing it finding how to estimate uh, sorry measure like success what the success could be a bit game theory in there as well on politician side because it's like given a chance you could say or be in the history like this or not at all there will be a east groves or uh, states between states like they will be more conditional than we are we, we are more open as individuals if that's would be asked to people decision on those that would be real uh, that's my um, claim like <laughs> um, but yeah I believe in uh, humanity and I try to um, See uh, and live in those days, you know. That's what I wanted to say. Hey, I would <laughs> just want to. Well, this is hi. A communication uh, from the moon. <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I just want to add that, you know, we have these. Uh, I don't know certainty that war is is about is is in in a in a big part is about a business right that is behind war. So I think that this kind of project is the opportunity to make a better business out of peace, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why people don't do it? I'm just trying to find out. I mean. No, like, but there's amazing all good stuff working for peace in my eyes like after all it came to that like hey arts it's for peace science also but how you use it um being a i guess I mean, also in the tech i mean right now we can focus it uh, some financial and technology uh, know-how around peace but yeah but if that question, could be okay, no, no, but you, you i think i i i did this uh, uh, link in, in the notion of, of dynamic energy budget but i'm going to clean it up and all this and we'll add it also to the consignment library but the the use of technique you know you have some books of anthropologists about the use of techniques from the beginning of the 20th century you know, that is really part of, of human. Uh, so what the one anthropologist was writing that uh, actually what makes us human is because we do use technique. It's the opposite, you know, it's not because we are human that we created some tools. It's, it's very, you know, so there's something that is not so much new, but there's a beautiful narrative 
that is disruptive in, in what you say because, you know, there's the United Nations, the, the before the United Nations, we had uh, the, the uh, uh, I forgot the word in English, but I mean, since the beginning of the 20th century, we had this international organization we're really trying to make peace at a global level. So we had this idea of infrastructure. Uh, and suddenly you, 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 there's a new narrative that has a lot of potential that can be explored artistically. And then there's some, probably some research that can be made with um, NGOs working on peace, you know, on, on some conflict areas. And, yes. and, um, and actually we can also work on peace in what is not considered as conflict areas, you know, because uh, I'm Yeah, yeah, that's so important. It becomes more something uh, a bit more serious, but still we need this kind of new narrative, you know. So, so, uh, uh, and and then the partnering with, uh, for example, an NGOs, you know, I, I say, you know, like. Uh, that is uh, working, I don't know, in, in a conflict area and, um, and trying some kind of incentives or uh, working with existing peace organization when, where you have like different type of population that belong to. Experiencing for ourselves, what does that mean, you know, to face someone that is not thinking like we do think, for example. There's many uh, ways to do it. So then it can become an art science a project that has an outcome that is, um, you know, applied research. It's innovation. Like, for example, if you so there's an artistic narrative that is fun. Then there is, I mean, that can also, you know, share the message and and, and gather ideas and all this. Then you you also partner with um, some people that are on the field and some researcher. And hopefully you get like a real implementation of your ID, you know, practically, and you see how it works from testing it. Thank you very much. Like, uh, we can talk about it again, uh, or if there is a somewhere we can uh, start doing around it, or whenever you um, decide. So let me know. Uh, um, I think we can um, at, at least um, okay, so, so, sorry. Uh, maybe uh, something like um, enables us for those cooperations. I, I don't know much of uh, NGOs, for example, that would be cool. I don't know much of sorry, but of NGOs you said. Yeah, like. Okay, no, okay, I didn't understand. Sorry. Uh, um, some some parts I'm missing, um, but um, it's like. Um, however, which which way feels good for you right now? I'm ready to start that way. I just um, uh, kind of. Already felt I'm a bit late. I just started this whole thing uh, just month before stuff in Ukraine, but then was thinking much about NFTs and so making it uh, with NFTs the whole thing. But now it just for the contract people writes there. It's immutable. That's like what I was expecting. Um. So like, uh, we can start, uh, imagine East Grove parts, like what would be between uh, Sorry, states what and... Say? Um, I didn't hear what you said uh, at the end. Um, also like, uh, diplomacy between uh, entities, like not diplomacy, but you know, um, decisions like because it's a bit um, tricky situation that matters like hey uh, one side requires other side 
to um, disarm and then um, it's a bit um, I will do if you do as well situation so conditionals gonna be something like East Grove <coughs> where they will uh, when they sign I mean it's like uh, it's not gonna be valid for you until the other parties you want there also uh, uh, says you know signs that kind of given that kind of um, security so like it's signed uh, by all kind of um, yeah that's something like if we can make it observable uh, some visuals it would be really um, maybe more imaginable like yeah so what, uh, let's open the, what do you think the others who are here? Yeah, um, I definitely uh, think, well, two, I, th I think two, what, what playing around with this is like learning how to um, use these NFTs in a creative way. Because like also too, that's what I think with the Spore mandala kind of thing so like the first one is like you know your index card uh in a sense and it represents like your your further like curations within it right and then like how you could like meaningfully later after other iterations meaningfully rearrange those those things that you keep on like tying to your your index card you know like so you have you have one the spore and you branch it out into your your what i'm calling narrative mandala of other um reference points to to nfts that like are hyperlinked to to the other like uh, media or curation or whatever and each yeah okay so that that um so Both. that this idea of narrative NFT that, that could be used also maybe for that I don't know or that can be like a main function or that we can adapt to different yeah. narratives yeah that, yeah that, yeah so Definitely. that would be like a kind of asset of it could be an, an asset I mean one of the tools that I having a contextual data about how maybe a person kind of evolves and all that references you know maybe you refer to someone you say like hey totally agree with that and then maybe uh, someone else just connect to your kind of declaring a micro world piece between countries you can imagine like everybody I, uh, for for the last five ten years, I guess like this comes to me uh, again and again. The idea of an individual and society level similar behaving organisms like anything uh, individual behaves like it's also um, societies. Let's say if we could um, give a chance to uh, reduce. Uh, some small amount of tension in each like with such small steps for them but big you know for the world then uh, maybe a kind of world is is um i think a reflection of a paranoia or something otherwise like that sustained that's the problem um, we should sustain better stuff and this kind of stuff, I don't know, I just, um, yeah, I, I was able to be a, as a person, not like person of grunge or, you know, like that, a grudge or, yeah, like feeling bad about someone, like even years like hating or something. I was thinking that should be also possible for countries or big societies, even if they don't hate each other. On papers, they are like hating each other. 
or when people mention some countries or tend to uh, say okay, okay, okay. so generous like yeah. hey, every, as if everybody there is in such way that's why I think individual interactions there will show us like how this uh, pollinating or sports going like that he sports from that country to that country and then that relation uh, bringing uh, more connection you know? from other countries just to represent how it's healing can do, itself I'm sorry I'm interrupting you what you can do is for example identify all the existing I mean we'll start to identify some uh, existing uh, peace project and propose your your technology to, to them that, that could be uh, you know like yeah, me, because that there's many it's not true that it doesn't exist it's just we don't always see them and so you if you want to yeah totally i mean i know a lot of peace projects there are they are not same and it's not like i never written i think at this point this kind of project needs uh, more people seeing uh, people thought about it well. yeah i mean tech is already there it's uh, I think blockchain's core principle is really enough. Like, it's it cannot be manipulated. It's gonna be an undeniable one, a world peace, and uh, not like shut down or erased. Everybody's expressions are there. It's not like a, it's more than a blog posting or something, but also open to become a something social like that acknowledgements and codes wise but also it's accessible to everyone and yeah it's um, also for people that living in uh, some countries that you know kind of oppress them so they, they can make use of anonymity and censorship resistance of blockchain so it's with really making use of this technology and um, that idea of using making it with um, technology is a bit value I would give as a as an artist and a software engineer on this age I just um, feel like that's possible technically and um, looking to the world and people they just wanna chill, so let's chill. <laughs> yeah, it's like the idea of, hey, uh, this generation's not gonna use that, you know, killing machines in 50 years to each other, so let's drop it, let's not give that more funds and um, distribute it to others. All the sustainable development goals included, but climate action, uh, first kind of okay so so satori i mean so for me so i understand better it's great i shared the i've i google i googleized uh, industrial piece and there's a few references right. that could, but so satori so i i mean so that could be a project this is super cool yeah. uh but if, if we for me if i take the liberty to discuss again about dynamic energy budget that I found that, you know, so I'm trying to catch up with all the things that you've done that are super cool. So I'd love to continue to, to react to that. But for me, I just feel that if there was like, I understand now that to get funding, I mean, I really think that if we would get serious funding and I think we would deserve it actually. <laughs> Um, a bit of serious funding for dynamic energy budget, uh, we could really, you know, work uh, better. Yeah, I mean, more easily. And and uh, uh, because then we can have more people spending more time on it and, and start with, you know, getting a kind of, uh, you know, com I don't want to say growth, but getting into life, you know. And so, what I underst my understanding, very, very, very basic at this point, is that it's so important to have part of the project 
a graphic or web designer so then we can have a proper so then we can focus also on sharing a, a first window or maybe it doesn't have to be a graphic designer i don't know but uh, this is also something i was thinking of because my, my learning from from the two ethereum conferences and like the one in barcelona it was organized by doing good it's that actually there's little of true uh, uh, disruptive thinking in terms of infrastructure the, and i think this is exactly what we do here and 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 that's super cool and we really have uh, i think people are interested by what we can propose yeah yeah um i do think you know deb and an imaginarium or the creative imaginarium flow are like research slash projects like within Omega or like we team up with Omega like for instance the Spore Mandala type of project which is um, the, can be used and, and tested and is um, kind of this idea to help um, creatively um, represent like a curation right and then like later we could build on top of that and in, in this sense dynamic energy budget um what we've been talking about in there it's kind of like going back to doing those those uh charts going back to those charts in the beginning because like we set out like okay th these are the basic like contact points of of this and that and then okay like uh what do we kind of like talk about within this like subgroup right so like for the for the piece uh expressions of peace um project um what what's what's the idea um how 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 are we, we we testing it and then maybe like map out like you know uh references and also like f f uh fewer iterations of that and then in the same way too like for the spore mandala we map that out you know, in dynamic energy budget, going back to those, um, you know, little little flow charts that we, we wanted to keep on doing, right, in group. And we map out the dynamic energy budget of the Spore Mandala um, project and research of, like, you know, basically um, the idea and, and how to, like, mm -hmm. go about it. Um, that's what I was been thinking about. Okay, so I mean, yes, I think I understand. So what you say is that, you know, like we use a mandala for kind of mapping or articulating this project, mm -hmm. that we first make sure that it's uh, well uh, settled within the curation of the consilience library. And then we can build on top of that. This is what you say, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's... Okay, yeah. And, and for me, it's, I mean, then it can also be in between. For me, yeah. I just, but I, I feel, and I mean, it can be both together, but, but um, <laughs> yes, for sure, that, that's also what I want to, 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 to do, is to be sure that uh, the curation is well within Omega, that it's also, you know, like to contribute as much as I can. Uh, and, uh, um, but then on, on the other hand, uh, uh, but I think I, I Okay, we, we try to express it uh, several times for 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 kernel, uh, but I feel like okay maybe we can have a, at least one notion page that looks more like a website, uh -huh. uh, um, so we can present to the world. And for example, uh, in the last days, I met here in Paris some uh, kernel fellows that are in design. And one guy is working for Polygon, and um, and so I really I started to talk to them about Deb and all this, and I feel okay maybe we can have some money. So then, I mean for me if I have some money then I don't have to make a job, I, <laughs> I can work there and maybe you too and this kind of things, you know. But okay, so I think we are on the same page. Yeah. Uh, so what, what the next step is that I try to maybe to, but also all these Mandela things. Yeah. So maybe if it's okay, if Wednesday we still have the meeting, uh -huh. uh, are we going to still have it on Wednesday or, or um, 
the dynamic I'm energy just... budget meeting Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. So it's Wednesday's. Oh, yeah. uh, within the vacuum, so... we, we were thinking of going over like the process of our mandala making, and so like we could um, kind of like. Yes, but you yeah. can do that, and I can, uh, and I mean, we, if you want, we can do that, and I can, you know, I mean, uh, participate a little yeah. bit. I don't know. Yeah. And in the same time, I I, um, I try to fill up this document for the uh, curation, and uh, I try to to okay. I will try to do this kind of website or something like that. Because, for example, for me, in terms, but we can talk about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Th this idea of developing tools for for interdisciplinary collaboration that uh -huh. could be useful for peace as well yeah <laughs> um, since i'm going to go to the near i mean i propose i don't know if they would accept but i'm going to go to the nircon conference okay. and i propose it to to uh for, for, to i'm going to 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 speak there and i propose them to have this kind of pop-up research about interdisciplinary okay and and um and that I think to me that could be something for Deb, but also mm -hmm. for Omega, also because I, I need to understand this. Uh, so that, that I don't know if it's possible to have some, you know, I'm not, uh, the people that are doing the research now, if they can help us or not. But we'll, we'll see if not, okay. we'll find some. Uh, by the way, uh, in general, it will, I guess, heavily include like psychology and uh, like mediation some graffiti uh, stuff as well um, it's like uh, probably we didn't take also can be a uh, uh, some uh, take white uh, collaboration could be a really good one is supporting um, I was thinking of directly uh, mapping some parts in a peace game kind of between individuals and such parties and uh, some knowledge can facilitate uh, that mediations or even people but that's a uh, that's part of it too kind of a um, lot of stuff and some uh, regenerative finance is also in its core that's why i kind of find it worth for prioritizing in the sense that when a base consensus is there and other uh, problems in the world, actually they are the actual problems and side effect of this. So like decisions won't be made first uh, politically or financially in the first place, but uh, if people are good uh, in stuff, it could be a way of expressing or experiencing democracy globally for such cases starting and that would uh, give people some chance in the world uh, to really make connections around values so there uh, so uh, hearing that uh, you want to uh, mention about it feel so happy made my day <laughs> i just uh, think uh, that github repo would be a surface and they would uh, get it or everybody can imagine a lot of things from this point like that's what i want and go um, anywhere and best world uh, deserves best however we make it uh, better in time it will only help and that's more you know, uh, no competition. It's just a notion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, within the vacuum, can you can you make it on Wednesday to the dynamic energy budget meeting? Yeah, sure. Cool. I, I can beat that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cause then also too on Wednesday I'll I'll get like a I'll make a, a kind of like a cl uh, clear 
board, and then I'll just put, uh, like, imaginary, I'm Deb, and then Omega. And, because, like, like, those are the flows, but, like, I'll, I'll kind of, it was better if I have visuals to show people <laughs> what I'm saying. And I, I, I can also help with that, you know, if yeah, you need yeah. some elements or whatever, just tell me. And... Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. But you have a lot of visuals already. You have yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but now I'll, I have I'll, tons I'll, of it. Yeah. We'll, we'll tell you what they kind of mean. And there's like little, we have like steps in progress now. Like it's cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. But do you want to meet at another time? Because I, I, I'm, I'll probably be flexible. I mean, like. Uh, um, just like the hour before the yeah. Omega. Yeah, I think it would be within an hour before uh, it actually looks better. Look better? Yeah. Within the vacuum as well? Or? Yeah, sure. Uh, Wednesday? Yeah. I'll, I'll remind I'll remind you guys in, in our little yeah. chat. But do we, do we need to change the calendar? Great. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Yeah, I'll, yeah. yeah maybe a, make a message. I, I don't know how to change it. But, where do we change the calendar? Do you know? No, I'm not sure about that. Okay, so just... Uh... No, no, no. Okay. Ah, okay, so interesting about the uh, platform for art, science, and technology. Cool. Uh, so, uh, I guess um, we'll all meet up um, Wednesday. So we'll, we'll do it an hour before the regular meeting, right? I think that works. Okay. okay. Yeah. An hour before, so okay, 7 p.m. Yeah. C European time. Yeah. No, yes. Alright, cool. Sounds good. Okay, cool. And we'll go over the malas and, and then. And then we'll, okay, and, we'll... and me too, I try to clarify for before that. that okay, we could go. yeah. Merci yeah. beaucoup, very inspiring okay. conversation. Yeah, thanks. thanks, everyone. <laughs> Merci à tout le monde. Thank you. Awesome streamer D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome project. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. about it. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll put up my, my yeah. bass expression up. Uh, I'll use it. Yeah. If you need to yeah. test Twitter, let me know. I think the faucet on Rinkaby is down. But um yeah. yeah. I will, mm -hmm. I will be refreshing the page to see the last expression. <laughs> okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, have a good day, guys. You know, coming, coming. Okay, okay. Bye. <laughs>